This is a quick demonstration of the Niagara launcher on Android. So the device Note Air 3C is Android driven. I think it's Android 12. And what the menu would look like of this device is about this. So you have on this side, you can take notes, you have your apps, settings, and uh, your files. And I absolutely don't like this view. This, this looks like an Android phone. Um, it is, this is not fun. So I installed the Niagara launcher and I have set up my device that when I swipe up, oops, I go back to my home screen. So whenever I am in an app or in my planner or anywhere, I swipe up and I come back to my Niagara launcher. And here you can customize a couple of things. For example, this one, this is a widget that I have access to my most used PDFs as my weekly planner. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to access one specific file here on the launcher. So I would prefer to have just access to one specific file, but this is not possible or I haven't found a way yet. So here on the right, I can choose my all my apps. And you can customize as you want. You could customize the symbol. Um, you can give it the name as you like. You can choose between different items. Let's do uh, not landscape mode to see how it looks uh, bright. So here I could edit my favorites. I could add widgets. Or I can also use some, some uh, aspect of, of, of apps, apps. So for example, Todoist, there's not just a Todoist app, but I can also use like shortcuts to add a task, uh, go to my today and so on. So I swipe up and I come back to my home screen. So I really like this launcher. Uh, one problem I had was that I couldn't um, access the apps. So they disappeared all the time. And this has to do with the freezing settings of the app. So when you go back to the menu, you have to give permission so you hold the pen long on your app and here you have some options. And one thing is optimize. Uh, is it? No, it's not optimize. Ah, here, Einfrieren. This is freeze, the freezing function. And here you see this sign. And here you can say which apps are going to be freezed. Um, this is an automatic freeze after some days. And I had some apps on. Here you see. Oh. Now. 
um, you should not freeze the apps that you want to see on your Niagara launcher. And also this one, um, Anwendungen, die im Hintergrund laufen, nicht einfrieren. This, are, this is the freezing in the background. So when you use apps in the background, you should also turn this one off. I think there was this freezing automatically when you installed it. So I always had the problem when I installed app, apps that I couldn't see them. So yeah, look in your freezing options. Then how have I set up my, my swipe and shortcuts? I use the menu in the top right. I can add a quick note. This is a full refresh. I can choose if I want to add touch or not. This helps when, when you're in a PDF for, PDF, for example, or when you're doing a lot of writing, you can turn off your uh, touch, uh, add a task, go to split screen, and so on. I hardly use my device with light, so here you see how this looks like when you don't have uh, the light on your device on. I think it's not needed during the day. When I swipe on top left, I can do some app optimizations. And here you can change how your Niagara launcher looks like by size. So you can increase this to make the symbols bigger. I like this when I don't have a widget here. Or you can make this smaller. 358 was a threshold for me. That the widget edges, you see this, um, that they are clear. No. 59, they're not good. Go to 58. Yeah, 56 is fine. And you see the edges are now clean. Okay, yeah, this is uh, my Safari disappeared. Ah, you see, that might be the problem with the freezing. I think there was an option that I accidentally chose before. So you see, I think you got the fix now. Have a good one. Bye.